many Electrolux twin turbo machines on this channel and this very late mid 90s in fact Turbo 2 Super is basically exactly the same as the 500, 502, 504, everything else that I have shown you. Just wrapped up in a facelifted 1990s aesthetic. Very weird indeed. There are some differences of course, but at its core, this is a very old machine. We have a box of random tools to go through and the machine itself. So, let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? If you look through a shopping catalogue, Argos, Index, whatever, from the 1990s, you would see this exact model appear for years. They just never stopped selling them until they stopped selling them. They ran forever and it's never really been a machine that's interested me. I've always rather just stick to the older, proper ones. But yeah, I had the opportunity to pick this up and thought it would be a little bit silly not to because yeah, don't often see these at all. It is so modern that it comes after the UK mandated that electrical appliances had a moulded plug fitted. So we have this one here and it is the original plug, I am pretty confident of that. It certainly would have had it. I best tip you up a little bit. And we'll start at the top and work our way down as we normally do. There's so much to look at on this machine. We have an on off switch. Right, that's all we've got to look at. Let's see if it's got a bag fitted. Ooh, it does. And ooh. Very nice indeed. We have ourselves a pneumatic HEPA flow, which, oh good, it's not been opened. They've just, this is, they've just kept the bag slide on it, which is good. You know, the original paper bags would have had a bag slide. We are missing the rubber donuts or foam donuts, although I do have some spares of that. And again, if you HEPA flow it, you don't need that anyway. Very rare to see on a twin turbo. It is, well, for me, it's a bag full indicator. It's sat just in there. Look, looks identical to the ones that came with the electric dolphins that I have not long at the time of filming this video gone through. The filters are exactly the same as the old ones, probably in need of replacement. The other one is down there, screwed in and pretty clean, to be honest. These came from good homes so they're certainly not the usual trash found rubbish that we normally get lumbered with let's put the bag back in yeah that is a grade a example of how probably best to help afraid one of these i've gotten away with just sticking the bag on there and hoping for the best but certainly is the better way to do it because yeah it can't fall down physically because of that do the clip back up again same clip we have the same carry handle this is the same mouldings almost i think they probably did change them i don't know actually they probably well, they changed the top bit this bit's probably the same under this glamorous front cover with classic decals God, the attention to detail is something else right let's move down and check the business end down below we have our Turbo 2 and the remains of a Super logo. We have twin height, con oh no, triple. One, two, three. So three height controls, very fancy indeed. The tool port, to which we will get very familiar later. When we go through that box, no adjustable suction hole on there though. Very, wow, okay. This is 
very much different to how the older twin turbos worked where it was just a pedal that rode up and down no on this the entire back axle does although the springs are the same the retaining brackets are the same there's some familiarity here folks for sure underneath we have yeah, we've got the rear wheels normal front wheels all of this stuff is yeah you could take these from the 70s and plonk it on i think newer style inner hose very now oh, he did tell me that he put new brush strips on it like back in back when he first got it and they are stiff stiffly stiff so oh i'm actually a little bit excited about this now very nice indeed and i think it has a belt it seems to not be free spinning at all so let's turn it on first and hear it working now it will have pretty much again exactly the same motor as ye old 1970s twin turbos although it will be plastic there'll be plastic you know, housing on it rather than the metal that it used to be and i'm imagining it's not got a blowy uppy suppressor in it either they sort of changed in the early 90s to ones that were a lot better oh, yes. sounds perfect yep brush on spins Right, okay. Belt is warm. But it's still getting alright in the sound of it. That's got some food to it. Wow! Let's knock it up on. runs astonishingly well and I dare say it actually grooms better than most I've used. I don't know where, what make, model those brush strips are but they're really good so it needs a belt probably won't do that today. Save that for the after video because it needs a little bit of a going over. It smells quite musty and it is a little bit dirty. In this box is this is how the tools came. You can see the remains of the original sticker on there. Haven't looked at this yet, so we shall go through it together. I believe there's two hoses. And there's two full tool kits. Right, um, let's get through this. So yeah, we have that. two hoses, one long, one short. So. We shall stick to the longer one because why not? And yeah, we can test the tool suction out now. Because the good thing about the twin turbos is they are clean fan upright and you can put the tools on and have clean fan tools. Oh, not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Now this dates it completely because look at this. Wow, look, one of these has seen all of the use, and one of them has seen none, look. Wow, clean crevice tool. This is normally what you find. So, Electrolux have used those crevice tools since forever. And they've actually used these ones since forever. I've got a fair few spare black ones like that. However, ooh, I think that's seen a little bit of use, isn't it? These came in with, as far as I'm concerned, the glider. These are the tools, style of tools, that came with the Electrolux glider, which is not too far removed from this. I think we'll give that a bit of a clean up. There we go. No need for the Victor V9 today, not when we have a 90s electrolux upright to do our bidding. And yeah, pretty horrible upholstery tool, I'll be honest, especially when it's on here. Because you push down into it, it's the same reason I hate Dyson's upholstery tools. Because you end up pushing down on it rather than it gliding. But did the job for a properly budget cleaner in the day. This would have been under £60, I'd imagine. Dusting brushes don't seem to have seen much use. Yeah, they just clip on nicely like that in a very 
gliderish kind of way. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we have two toolkits. Not entirely sure why. Don't really need two toolkits, but we'll keep the best one with it. And the other one can go into the pile of stuff for another day. God, this is an open before video, isn't it? There's not much to show you on these basic ones, but these are a machine that I've seen a lot of because they're of the era now where a lot of vacuum cleaner collectors and sort of myself included. I'm a generation or two older than these, but you know, a lot of the you know, collectors that were born in the mid to late 90s would have had these as their childhood vacuums, the poor souls. And yeah, you see a lot of chatter about them online, and I can sort of understand why now, because it's, it's better than I had thought. I didn't really think these are much cop, although a lot of it has to do with these amazingly strong bus strips. Yeah. Very careful doing that. I don't recommend it. You've seen me hurt myself before. But yeah, the belt does need replacing. But, bar that, it's pretty much ready to go. I'm just going to clean out. The suction is not quite as sharp as I think it should be. That's because all the rubber seals will be filthy and dirty. But I reckon the... It's not really an old girl, is it? I reckon the middle-aged girl because it's younger than me, and it's not often I show you vacuum cleaners younger than myself, will clean up all right. And yeah, hoping in the comments a lot of you will say that you remember these from when they were new and all the happy memories that you have with it. I never really had these in my childhood. Not None of my family really had Electroluxes. We were all Vax 121s and then Dyson DCO ones. And then cleaners like this became unfashionable this would have been sold probably alongside the dco4 at least possibly even the dco5 i'd have to go through the catalog scans and find out it's even got the new style oh i can show you that should be camera electrolux ratings plate which week 11 1996 new z1070a certainly very, 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 very modern indeed. So, yeah, pleasantly surprised on this one. I'll be honest, quick, short and simple, just like myself, but a vacuum cleaner before video nonetheless. So, what are your memories of the Electrolux Turbo 2 Super? A machine that could literally trace its roots back to probably the late 1960s would be when they started designing the twin turbo machines of old Z500, 502 and whatnot. And it was sold all the way until, well, it's probably been sold up until the late 90s, even though I reckon they would stop making them in the early ones. It's also made in Britain, still made at the Luton factory at this time. Oh, how sad would you have to be if you'd have worked there all the way through and this is how they ended it. God, oh, dear, oh dear. But, hey... It's here now, we're going to save it, give it a new lease of life. So, until the after video, you will see this again. And I thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. And I and this will see you soon. Bye bye.